Hi everyone, it's Dr. John Dempster here again and I'm here to talk about a very important topic that affects all of us and that is sleep. Sleep touches on almost every biochemical situation in our body. Whether we are trying to keep our weight and stay fit, whether we're trying to keep our immune system up, whether we're trying to keep our energy and our focus and stay really sharp throughout the day, sleep affects everything. And so I'm going to talk to you about a few things that we can do to improve the quality of our sleep. And one of my favorite ways to begin this conversation is to talk about proper sleep hygiene. And a great term to think of when we're trying to improve quality of sleep is think of your bedroom environment being a cold, dark cave. Cold doesn't need to be freezing. I don't want it to be a freezer, but I do want it to be colder than the rest of your house. This is going to put you into a deeper thermal state and it's going to allow your body to relax and fall into a deeper sleep rhythm. The next thing that really critical is has to be dark. This can even be disturbed by your alarm clock beside your bed. Turn it upside down, unplug it, make sure that the TV is off, that should not even be in your bedroom, and obviously make sure your blinds are closed and no other lights are on. Any little bit of light can and go through your eyelids, very small membrane, and can really affect uh, your sleep rhythms. And make sure it's quiet. Okay, we don't want to be disturbed by loud noises outside. You don't want to be sleeping on a major intersection. Sometimes we can't help that, so do what you can inside. But a cold, dark cave is a great place to begin when you're trying to improve some of the quality of your sleep. The next big area to talk about is what to start to do leading up to uh, the evening. And we want to make sure that we're not eating too late. If you eat too late, if you have your red wine and steak dinner, that is very hard for your stomach to process, especially later into the evening. And what's going to happen is you're going to fall into a very shallow sleep rhythm and you're not going to wake feeling rested the next day. So it's okay to be eating uh, at around 7 to 8 p.m., but try not to be doing 9 o'clock and definitely not 10 o'clock and beyond. You'll notice a huge difference if you make that change. And one of my favorite things to talk about is exercise. If you don't exercise, you're going to have a very hard time balancing the biochemical molecules in your body that tell you to sleep. So it's best to be doing exercise throughout the day and especially in the morning. But if you have to, you do it at any time. But make sure that you are active. This is all going to help that as well. And finally, leading up to the evening, make sure that you have a one hour period before you actually go in and put your head on the pillow. You should be winding down one hour before. And that is, should be reading a book, having a hot bath, relaxing with family and friends. Try not to be too overly uh, exposed to stressful situations such as watching the news, doing work emails, or even watching horror movies, things like this that will get your, your body excited. So. I hope that is helpful. Those are some, some easy tips that you can do to improve the quality of your sleep. And until next time, I'm Dr. John Dempster.